I'd like to tell you about Langerhans cell histiocytosis. This is kind of a, a basic lecture about the disease and what we believe uh, causes it and a little bit about what we're going to do to treat the disease in children and adults. So we're going to call this course Histio 101. You might think of it as uh, the uh, overview because the, there are a lot of topics that we can't go into today, but that's a chance for us to talk with you later and try to get some more knowledge out there. So this is a disease that we're going to just call LCH because all of these words, Langerhans cell histiocytosis, get a little bit long-winded and we'll try to make it easy for everybody to understand. As you know, it's a rare disease. It occurs in between four and eight uh, children per million population. And those numbers are gathered by studies that were done in Denmark and Sweden, where they have a very good uh, healthcare system where they can track specific diseases. It's pretty hard for us to do here in the United States because our system isn't quite so uh, well organized for tracking rare diseases such as LCH. But I think it's a good estimate and based upon the number of patients that we see in our clinic and others in the United States. If we look at those numbers and think about the population of children between the ages of uh, newborn to 18, that would mean about 300 new cases per year in the United States, which isn't very many. But there are also adults, and we have no clue how many adults are new patients each year. We guess they might be maybe one-third or one-quarter the number of children, but that's only a guess because no one has done any epidemiologic studies on them. We know that there are many ways of this disease presenting. It can start in the skin, in bone, in lymph nodes, liver, spleen, and lung. And we're going to talk about what it means to have the disease in those various uh, places. Generally, there's a very good prognosis when the disease is just in the skin and the bones or lymph nodes. It's more serious when it's in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow and lung because those uh, organs are seemingly difficult, more difficult to treat. It takes more intensive treatment and oftentimes the people who have disease like this are very young infants who are extremely sick and so we have essentially two populations of patients and we call them low risk for the first group and higher risk for the second group and we'll get into that a little bit more in, in just a few minutes. But overall, we cure essentially 100% of the so-called low-risk group and probably 75 to 80% of the high-risk group if they respond to therapy early. But I will show you some treatment results that those who don't respond within the first 6 to 12 weeks do very poorly, and that's one of our big challenges in this disease. There are a lot of challenges, and among them are understanding the uh, the disease, uh, the way it presents uh, in different people, and uh, one of the challenges for doctors who are not familiar with the disease is trying to figure out LCH versus some other disease that may be more common. And there are lots of kids who have rashes and lumps and bumps that are common childhood things that have nothing to do with LCH. So. Part of the, our purpose in the Histocyte Society is to try to educate not only families but also physicians so that they may be able to make the diagnosis more quickly and alleviate suffering and be able to get patients to specialized centers uh, quickly. So how does this disease present? Well, most of the children present with either a skin rash or painful swelling of some bone. They might have a bump on the head that looks like a lump that came from an accident and that bump might be kind of squishy. Or they might have swelling around their ear, the mastoid bone behind the ear. They might have swelling around their eye, such that the eye seems to be sticking out a little bit. We call that proptosis. They also might have big lymph nodes that look like they have an infection, uh, such as you might have from a sore throat and making big lymph nodes when you have a strep throat. Some children have uh, breathing problems because it's in the lung and they might have wheezing as a child with asthma could have or they might have shortness of breath or in some adults they have a lot of lung disease and the lung actually breaks open and they have what's called a pneumothorax and that causes extreme pain and also a shortness of breath that's very dramatic. If the liver and spleen are involved, the child's abdomen might be very swollen. They might be jaundiced. That means the bilirubin is high and they have a yellowness to their skin color or their eyes have a kind of yellowish, yellowish tinge to them. 
If their pituitary gland is involved, they might want to drink an awful lot of water. We call this diabetes insipidus or water diabetes. That's different than sugar diabetes. And in this condition, the pituitary gland is not making a hormone that is needed to balance our water and salt intake. And the child or adult wants to drink literally gallons of water a day, often up in the middle of the night drinking lots of water, and of course, going to the bathroom quite frequently too. So what is a histiocyte? It's a white blood cell that is in the body, usually not swimming around the blood like our other histiocytes. So when your doctor does a regular blood count, they don't count histiocytes. We find them in tissues. They're normally in the skin, and I'm going to talk about what they do in the skin as part of the normal immune system. And they're also found in lymph nodes, in the spleen, and sometimes in the lung. If they're found in the bone marrow or in the liver, they're distinctly abnormal, and that's where, where we find the disease in uh, some uh, patients with LCH. The histiocyte is an interesting cell that may be uh, fixed in a, its way in the skin, but also can be produced from other cells in the body, such as monocytes, which are a part of the white blood cells that are in your regular blood count. These cells are part of the normal immune system. And when we look at how the immune system is made, we have this picture here with these different colored cells. And all cells of the immune system and of the uh, bone marrow come from what we call a, a great grandperson cell or a stem cell. And this stem cell is, can go in many different directions. It m can make not only red cells and platelets, but also these different kinds of white cells. So if the stem cell is bathed in some growth factors called tumor necrosis factor alpha and GMCSF, which is a nice short abbreviation for a bunch of words that mean myeloid growth factor, it tends to go over in this direction of this dark green cell, which you call a common myeloid progenitor. And if you give it some other growth factors like TGF beta, you make this orange Langerhans cell. If you give it a different group of growth factors, the cell migrates in different places and has a different name and actually is associated with some different histiocytic diseases, JXG and Erdheim Chester disease, which we won't be talking about today. The fascinating thing is that the monocyte or pre-dendritic cell, which is over here in kind of orangish yellow, can be made into a Langerhans cell if you give some of these growth factors, that GMCSF plus another one called IL-4, the TGF-beta, and another one called FLT3L. So if you put a cell like this, take it out of your blood, put it in culture, give it some of these growth factors, it becomes the Langerhans cell. And what this tells us is that the disease, Langerhans cell histiocytosis, might come from this original Langerhans cell that's in the skin or could come from some dendritic cells that are very rare, less than one-tenth of one percent in the blood, if they have the right kind of growth factors floating around with them, can make that monocyte into a dendritic uh, Langerhans cell. And this is a very active area of research in our lab, and we've, we think this is a very important concept that maybe will tell us something about how the disease happens.